It is now so easy to connect up with remote software controlled radios and to get reception capabilities you cannot get at home and also listen to your own transmissions. Back in the 1980s, this was not available, but I was always intrigued with professional communication stations who had remote receiving sites to optimize reception and even listen through their own transmissions. I thought it would be fun to have such facilities, so I set up my own network. It smelt like Christmas, 70 feet up the pine tree, as long as you didn't get attacked by cockatoos. God knows how I dragged all that stuff up there, and then a full-size video camera to record it all. It was controlled by DTMF sent up on VHF, and the downlink was UHF, uh, 439925 I think. Most precarious here. Yes, it would have been. I haven't climbed that tree this century and I don't think I ever will. The path certainly wasn't line of sight and had to diffract over the dandenongs. Yes, I'm copying you fine there. Right. Yeah, well, you must be able to copy me under your uh, transmitter. I'm a bit intrigued how you can do that, but... It's not AM. For, uh, about 10 over 9 up here, Dave. Very, very nice signal. And, um, it, it, you're leaving your 160 meter transmitter keyed up all the time, but you're copying me uh, through it, are you? No, oh, that's correct. Yes, I'm, I'm copying you perfect through it. Yeah, very good. OK. You could also switch on an external mic and hear the sounds of the bush. Now inside the shed. There's some of the receivers. Uh, we're testing here on 3670 and also we're listening on 36703580 and uh, all the rest. So I wonder how that is uh, Mr Herb. Well, that's exceptionally good. A switch panel there from an old recorder to uh, monitor and switch uh, the audio. There's the uh, UHF uh, transceiver to drive the amplifier up the tree. And then we can see the relay switching from the uh, DTMF tones. Uh, an STC 2 meter transceiver to talk back to bass. A lot of dust and mice and ants used to get in all these relays and it caused a big maintenance problem. And it was a four hour return trip to go up and fix it. It must have been on, it took about eight amps when the thing was running. Okay, this is VK3AC doing a ground wave propagation tests. Well, we seem to be only getting sky wave at the moment. Okay, this is, uh, we'll let the recorder go, we'll run two minutes. Some big uh, 2 volt lead acid batteries, 12 volts. They, they've lasted a long time actually. So, are we coming through okay now? Oh, you're coming through fine, but uh, I can talk without worrying about you interrupt interrupting me, you know what I mean? It's, uh, oh, I see, yes. Yeah. So, it's I'll more like a natural talk this way. It's more like a natural chat with someone. Just as well we set this thing up in the 1980s, because in 1950 there wouldn't have been any tree to put things in. Uh, yes, um, yes, I'm copying you, uh, copying you there, Graham. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, Roger, Dave. You can see by the computer there, this was filmed in the late 80s. At that time, there was no mobile phones or internet or anything like that type. 
and if you wanted to communicate you'd have to go downtown and put some 20 cent coins in the AMB phone although we did have a duplex um, communication links between the remote site and home so it was uh, a big innovation Funny, uh, Dave, I had, had Make Henry talk again. I had another half a dozen teeth uh, taken out yesterday. Oh, so no. Oh, yes, just about uh, down to zero now. That sounds terrible. Oh, it is. Was it painful? Oh, yes, very. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, uh, I'll, I'll say this to anyone. Uh, uh, I'll tell you, the best investment you can make is in your teeth, and uh, if it's the last thing you do, keep your teeth. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that is terrible. Uh, and they couldn't save them? No, no. No, I had the, all the tough ones out uh, last year and uh, the, ba the bottom ones just fell apart on me. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's pretty terrible. So, I wonder if you've heard that. Excellent. Look, um, I've just r gone down to less than half power, so I'm just curious to know how you're hearing that. It's, it hasn't really made uh, all that much difference at all. Well, you'll be pleased to know this is four watts. Drop it down some more. Well, four watts are pretty good. I've got four or forty, so oh. it's, uh, I'll stay on four for a while. At least I won't flatten the flattery. I'm just running on the car battery. It doesn't make much difference. What I'll do, um, I'll just make a brief transmission on this, and you can have a listen to it on on three six seven zero. Roger. So uh, just so you can get, so uh, just stand by a sec. So here we are. We're transmitting on three six seven zero to Herb, who's in uh, Mount Gambia. Thank you very much. Uh, and you can compare the signal to what it was uh, this afternoon about five o'clock.